In this video tutorial we're going to be showing you how to make a crochet burr. We have done another video which shows you how to do the loop burr but this one is made from crochet so it's more secure especially if you're making it for a young child. Um, it looks very pretty and you can make the bow tie for the boy in exactly the same way as the method I'm going to show you. So first grab your pattern which is a free download from wewillywonderfuls.com just look under the PDFs or search for bow or bunny tail and that's the name of the pattern, alternative bow and bunny tail. So we're going to be making a bow like this one and on the pattern is also the crocheted tail. So download that for free and it tells you how to make it but we're going to show you in our video. So you're going to need the wool that you want to make it with, your crochet hook, um, you'll also need your needle and a pair of scissors and your bunny if you want to sew it on. So let's get started. So we'll look at our pattern and that says to um, chain 10. So we're going to be making a chain. So to do this, there is a separate video for it if you want to see it in more detail. We're going to just make a slip knot, which is make a loop with our wall, pop the strand which leads to the ball of wool through there and just pull it and we have a slip knot. So now we're going to chain 10. So the pattern says to chain 10, then turn. So chain to chain, we're going to wrap the wool around and pull it through the loop. And that is one chain. Two, three, four, five, Six, so you can either do it by popping your hook under it and grabbing the wool. Seven, or like I showed you earlier, like that. Eight, nine, ten. You want to try and get your chains as even as possible. We've got a little bit of fluff jumped in there, I think. Even as possible. You don't want them really tight and you don't want them really loose. So just like that is, is um, perfect. And then round two... Our next instruction is to double crochet in the second chain from your hook. So what we're going to do, instead of working in circles as we normally do, we're going to be going that way and then that way and then that way. We're making a rectangle shape. So it's a little bit of a different technique. If you haven't done this before, you'll be learning something new. So we start in our second chain from the hook. So not the one closest to your hook. We're not going to work into that one. To be fair, it's very difficult to get your hook into there anyway. So you would struggle. So it's not the first one. We're going into that second one there. And we're just going to do it with double crochet. We can't go in under both loops because it's just not possible. We'll just be going underneath. There's nothing to hook into. So we're going to go into the center of the chain like so. From front to back, yarn over, pull through. And then we're going over the top, yarn over, pull through. So just a double crochet stitch. And you can see that's the stitch we've worked. As you can see it's pulled up, look, and there's a bit of a hole there where we've worked into that stitch. So our next chain to work into, work into is the next one here. So we're just going to do a double crochet in each of those chains. And we're just going to work to the end. It can sometimes be a little bit difficult to see which is your last stitch. If you find that your shape is not straight along the edge, you're probably missing a stitch or working twice into an end one. You, you're going out somewhere. So you can, if you wanted to, pop a stitch marker on the last chain and then you'll know which one it is. But as you work up, it can be a little bit more tricky to see which one you need to be working in. I'll just move that because it looks like it's taking the focus so we can make it a little bit clearer and there we are so we're just going to do a double crochet in each right to the end and that's our last stitch here that little end section there is just the slip knot where we first started so that's not a stitch so our next instruction is to turn so what that means is we're going to turn our work so turn it over and we're going to be working back along and then chain one so we're just going to do a chain like we did when we started 
and then to work in the second chain from the hook. So that is our first chain from the hook. That is the one we've just created. And this is our second chain. Now, now we're on the second row, we can go under both these, just like we are when we're doing um, a normal double crochet stitch. So we're going to work on both. So it's only that first row that you need to work into one side. And then from now, look, we're just crocheting under both these as normal. I'm just going to double crochet all the way to the end. Now, the beauty with this pattern is it tells you how many lines to do, how many round, uh, rows to do. But if you want to make your bow a little bit slimmer or a little bit chunkier, you can do that. You can just do a row or two short or add an extra row or two on to do it how you want. So double crochet into the end. Now, that is another stitch there. So you've got to be careful you don't miss that. That's how you sometimes end up with it going in like that when you're missing the last stitch. So that's our last one. So we're going to work into there. And then the next instruction is to turn. So we're turning it over again, working the other way, and we'll do a chain again. So one chain. If we didn't do the chain, we'd find that it went up to more a triangular shape. So doing a chain just keeps that edge nice and level. We want it straight. So we've done a chain again, and then we're working into the second stitch from our hook. And then we'll work all the way across again. Again, working under both V's like we normally do. So all the way along to the end. And we've got another stitch there. So again, use a marker when you get to your last stitch and pop it on if you're not sure. You can use a marker at both ends. You can see that's nice and rectangular shape, nice and straight. So we're going to turn it again. So we'll just flip our work over. Do one chain. Don't forget the chain at the end of the row. Because <clears throat> if you forget it, it will start changing shape. So we're not going to crochet into the chain we've just made. We're going to crochet into the second one from our hook. And then we're just going to work along. So it's, it's different from normal amigurumi where you're working in spirals. This is a chain and working in rows. to the end and we're going to flip it over and work the other way back and do one chain and that's our first chain from the hook that's the one we've just created so that is our first one to stitch into the second from your hook all the way back along and the pattern for the bow for the full size bunny is to do it's six rows in total but so you can vary that if you want to if you're making um, this for one of our baby bunnies, you work exactly the same, except you would be doing, um, how many stitches is it? Have a look. I would crochet eight chains to start and then just do three rows instead of six. And that just gives a nice size, but we tell you how many we do, so you can get exactly the same as ours if you wish. But feel free to to change it and do it yourself a bit different now I've lost count I don't know how many rows I've done so let's have a look so this was at where we began so that is our initial chain across one two three four five would bring us back to here so six so we've turned we've chained one so we're going to do one last row and then I'm going to show you how to turn it into the final bow and so it's on. So we're just working exactly the same along that final row. And that's our last one. So what we're going to do now is make our loop a little bit bigger. We're going to leave a long thread and go for around 50 centimetres. If in doubt, do it a bit bigger than you think you'll need. And then we're just going to pop our thread through the loop just to secure it. Now, we want to get rid of that neatly. If we just cut it off, we'll either have a little bit of end 
stuck out or if we cut it too close it'll end up unraveling so what I'm going to do is just thread my needle on the starting thread the little one now have a look at the front and the back see which you want to use as the front you can do it either way um, I'm going to do it so uh, that is my oh no that one with the chain because I think that looks quite pretty so we'll use that as the front so on the reverse of our work on the back I'm just going to go through the surface stitches all I'm doing here is bringing that to the center because then it will be hidden along the back and it will be secured under there so I'm just going to make a little loop and go through the knot and then I'm just going to sew it through on the surface because you don't want it coming through on the other side like so and then I'm just going to trim it down if it unravels a little bit it's knotted so we're okay and that's on the back of our work so we won't see it so I'm going to cut that off now we're going to thread our needle on the long thread so we're just going to thread the other end oops it won't seem to thread let's get this thread out there we are and it's done so what we're going to do with this again along the back so that's where we've done it on the back you can see our little knot we're just going to surface crochet so it's just going along here like so And then we're going to wrap it around the center like that and do it a few times however many times you think looks looks nice knot it at the back so just do that to knot it to make it secure and now all we're going to do is sew that onto our bunny so I'm just going to sew it on here, wherever you think looks pretty. So I'm just going to sew it to a head there. If you're making the boy, I'd just sew it below the neck. So we'll just do quite a few stitches here and secure it on so it's nice and secure. How pretty is that? So just do a few stitches here to secure it with a few knots. Like so. And then we can even go around the front again and that a few times and then knot it just do lots of knots so through that back part what we're looking for is getting it nice and secure so that it doesn't come undone and then a few more stitches to make it secure I'll do a few more than that and then I'm just going to do that to finish it off so go in there a couple of times and then cut it off at the surface, pull and cut, and there you are, your beautiful bunny bow. I hope you enjoyed that video.